Hi there. My name's Matt. I also go by MVV Artworks on social media. I'm an illustrator and writer of webcomics such as Canvas Chronicles and Phantom Pain, both of which are available online. Today I'd like to share with you some of my process for making comics in a four-step breakdown. We'll be using the first short of Phantom Pain as an example. First, the sketch and layout part. Here we loosely draw where we'd like panels to go and where to draw attention from the reader's eye. This is the part you can have fun with, and generally speaking it's a good idea to do thumbnailing, uh, and just be sure not to lose your reader's focus. You can decide panel direction, the placement of speech bubbles, and loosely draw poses you want to finish up. Next is the line art pass. This is where, once the sketch and the layout are finalized, we set up our panels and lay down the liner. In some cases, you may choose to colorize the liner instead of using a black color, and that's okay. Either option works, depending on your vision. Next up, we have flat coloring. We put down color underneath the line art layer with no shading. Generally, a good idea is to have a color guide for your characters handy, or to have a color palette already set in your software of choice. In my case, I have a character sheet I use and I upload into Clip Studio Paint. Finally, we go into details and text. Here we finalize the color work by adding shading and lighting effects to really help the art pop. Make sure to avoid shading with black or gray colors, as it can make your work look muddy. A good idea is shading with hues that fit the mood of the scene. Once that's done, we add the text into the speech bubbles, place our sound effects, and add any action lines or filter effects to finalize the page. And that's it! I hope this helps in some way to plan out your comic projects. Please let me know if you'd like me to go into more details on any of these steps or other subjects I may not have thought of. Thanks again for listening and happy drawing!